Montagu has always created top top of fresh material like this fantastic Momoye, which is ex Kashash. Dear friends of the New Newton Art and Culture, this is Ingo from about Africa and the rest of the world. And yes, I was in Brussels on the Prafa 2023 and I made a video. I watched the tribal art galleries there and I will show you what they, what they offered, what they showed. And after the video, I will have a short, really short talk about what is happening in Brussels. At the moment, it's just a short, a short report about the Winter Ponyev. But let's start with the Prava. And let's start with the uh, Chauffel. And you know, so there were only four galleries this time there. Last year was the same. Some years ago, we had uh, th seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. The strong bongo. And Chauffel is one of them. And Chauffel has always fresh material. That's, that's good. Always fresh new items. He's, he has material which is not so expensive. You see some axes in the back. I think he sold some of them. Or his this crate thing here for this dish from, uh, from India, it is. But he has always good uh, material, which is high quality as well, like this fantastic Batak. You know, <laughs> he has this, this child in his arms, not because he's so friendly, but he has blackmailed it. And yes, yeah, Sesh told me that it would not be easy what will happen to the child. Okay, and here the song were, <laughs> it's like, like a Scottish man with a skirt. You can look what, the, what this, he has something under the skirt. Nice, it is a good song. I really loved it a lot, liked it a lot. And here's a very good uh, sculpture from the Congo with handle in the hands. I think it's, it's not so often, you can't find it so often. Chauffeur was good. What about Talton Samore? You know, this is a strong, of course, this is a strong Chibara. Talton Samore last year, he was for me maybe the best travel art gallery on the Prava, but now he is good, he has good. Coters, he is good, fine, good objects, whatever. But you know, there were some objects which I saw one year before. And, and for me, Thousand Summer this time, because I had such high expectations, was a little disappointment for me. But once again, if you like coters, you should buy one or two. So he had some objects which I saw one year ago and uh, or which I saw on the Paco de Monde. It was Good performance, but not a yeah, yeah, yeah performance. For example, I already knew, I think, this this uh, Gaboon objects on the left. And here is a, a good, here is a good, an old ballet, of course. The Dutch and the was good, but he was not top, top, top like sometimes. What about DT Class? This is a fantastic, a really fantastic, awesome, I guess it's a Suku, not a Yaka, it's a Suku. Maybe one of the objects I saw on the, on the Prava really fantastic thing great big this was top 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 but <laughs> you know class something is now doing more uh, modern sometimes with modern art but you know class always was great on the prava he was always the wow man on the prava with great great monothematic exhibitions with great objects now he had good objects like this song i think about it at, at, at native but it was not the top 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 quality okay the exception of this 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 uh, zuku or yaka <laughs> this is a good fang but it is not world class fang so once the, i was a little disappointed by the things I saw at, at class as well. And you know, Didier, he did not uh, take part. This is a good Vaga, Vaka, Vaka, I think it's called. Uh, very good. Uh, he did not take place on, uh, did not take part on the Paco de Monde last time. So he was good, good things here, but it was not the wow which he often had. So let's see what will happen next year. Because you know he's the vice president of the Prava, but well, let's see. And wait, now the number four, the Montego. Montego has always created top top of fresh material like this fantastic Mumuya, which is ex Kashash. And for me, Montego was the best on this 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 Prava. But once again, we only have four galleries, and it was not. I think something has to happen next year. They have to. This is a great league bee, of course. They have to invite new galleries and let's see what will happen. And here is a, a section, they hit two sections with great small songa objects. I, I think, yeah, there's some which I really like to have, but I did not ask for the price, but look, it's so amazing. Also, oh, it's the small things that, 
And here, I hope it's not boring for you, but this was great quality, these small objects. And Montagu did very well in finding new material, in finding good things, in showing good things. So Montagu, I think 30% of the video is about Montagu, or 40% even. I don't know. Once again, I love the smile of Songe. This was on, on one side, you could see all these, these small, small songers once again with a smile. Isn't it beautiful? It is. My camera had little problems. You know, I'm I think with a, maybe I, I will buy an, a real camera. I do this with a smartphone, but maybe I buy a real camera for this filming. But on the other hand, you know, <laughs> it costs a lot of money. And I don't get one euro with my videos. But here, the song was strong. And this is still Montagu. Good, very classical Dogon objects. With the hands and look how the arms are made. It's it's amazing thing. Once again, here yeah, this is strong and Monte oh, really was strong. And here, Songe, but this is a big one. Really big one. Really cubistic thing here. It's like a cubistic. You could, I think it's good. Fits very well to modern art, 1920s. This was an absolute strong down because it looks realistic. It was maybe one of the two or three best objects I saw. On the Prava, I loved it a lot, really. Whew. Amazing. And then you have the second side with small Songa objects. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this was really, these Songas have been a highlight on the Prava this time for the traditional African art. And they are, like, it was not easy to film them because of the light. Yeah, he is too bright, this is too dark, but okay, this was the was light there, but you could watch them and it, yeah, maybe someone is buying one of the those because I, I hope they are not too, too, too expensive. They will be expensive, but not too expensive. But the ones again, yeah, Montego did a great job here. What we have else, yeah, once again, a song. But it was not only the songs he had, here's another one. <laughs> I love them, really. And yeah. Yeah, it looks like an old man a little. He had, of course, a quota here, mm -hmm. but not only quotas, but this double figure by the Dogon was absolute amazing. So Montagu was very strong at the Prava 2023. So, what, and here you see the song is in the back of the, of the whole thing. So, and now just one thing about the Brussels, you know, at the same time, there was a winter Broniaf. You know, Broniaf for me was something, oh, so big thing, the Broniaf, and even the winter Broniaf was, was big. I think now there were only eight or nine or seven exhibitors, and some of them were really good, of, of course. Uh, Joe de Bock had great thing here to show, for example, and, and Ram, Ram's head from, uh, from Benin or Sierra was great, or Castellano was this great. And beside the, the winter Brunoyaf, you saw other people showing objects, showing tribal art, for example, and the Ancien Tour, for example, with good things. But, you know, it was not an event. It was really frustrating. The galleries were open, that's it, but no event, no nothing. And if you see that first, only f we have four galleries at the Prava, and second, the Pruniaf is going bad, bad, bad. What does it mean for the future of Brussels? I really hope that there will be a reset, a restart, a rebirth, whatever, because Brussels is important for our market, for our art, for the art we love. And But if they go on like they do in the time, it's really in here. Yeah. It's a really sad, sad thing, but I hope that this or next year they will start again. <laughs> I really hope it. So, see you next time.